Stars at Noon Movie Review Stars at Noon is a French romantic thriller film directed by Claire Dennis based on Dennis Jason's novel of the same name. It stars Margaret Qualley, Joe Alvin, Benny Softy, Danny Ramirez, and John C. Riley also star. Trapped in present-day Nicaragua, a young American journalist falls for an enigmatic Englishman in what seems like his best chance of escape. However, she quickly realizes that he may be in greater danger than she is. Unlike the novel, which is set during the Nicaraguan Revolution, the film is set during the pandemic. Plagued by pacing issues and a lack of chemistry between its leads, Stars at Noon is saved by the performances of Margaret Qualley and Alvin, and director Denise's brilliant vision lends the score well. Trish, played by Margaret Qualley, finds herself stranded in a Nicaraguan town in the middle of an epidemic when she meets Daniel, played by Joe Alvin. Desperate to reach Costa Rica, Trish deals with trouble from all angles. Daniel, a scheming government official and now a mysterious British man, meets her one night in a hotel bar. But starting to fly overnight becomes a full-blown affair. Before long, the couple declares their love for each other and fled Nicaraguan authorities and the CIA to the Costa Rican border. Trish, as a journalist, returns to sex work, and in the first hour of stars at noon, she steals toilet paper from hotel bathrooms, crashes hotel buffets, and is ignored by Daniel during midnight hookups. However, the attraction between Daniel and Trish is undeniable, and that is what the film wants the audience to think. On Stars at Noon, Qualley takes it all in and zooms in on a kind of nihilistic malaise that wanders from air-conditioned hotel lobbies to sweaty, neon-lit bars. Trish tells Daniel at one point, I want to feel like I'm moving, but the movement doesn't believe in any gold beyond movement. Her active desperation and depression in the face of the epidemic and other geopolitical situations come true because Qualley puts her all into the role. Daniel finds himself close in on his orbit, but it's unclear whether Trisha's sheer will or Daniel's own indifference keeps him away from the Nicaraguan town where the film opens and escapes across the Costa Rican border. Alvin isn't exactly naive. And while that works for the character, this distance undermines the much-needed chemistry between Trish and Daniel. Their scenes are shot with an intimacy that seems to be lacking in the relationship between the two, which underpins the film's love-lost thriller plot. Moments like Trish finding a gun in Daniel's bag and a truck full of armed guards pulling up to Daniel's hotel are awkwardly overpowering. The tension that should come from these moments is drained by the overblown relationships at the film's core. However, It Stars at Noon is a lush, somewhat forgettable fever dream. Denise pulls it all together, and she matches Trisha's own in bringing this landscape to life. The lack of chemistry between Alvin and Qualley can be overlooked by Denise's direction and the actor's individual performances. Unfortunately, given Qualley and Alvin's chemistry, the film is bogged down by pacing issues but runs out of gas an hour before the danger begins. One wonders if Dennis had chosen to set the stars during the Nicaraguan Revolution of the 80s and if this adaptation would have had more power. Meanwhile, Qualley's performance and the mystery surrounding Alvin Daniel is the only energy in the film that is enough to keep the stars of noon interesting.